Sounds thick, clean and rich. Sansui AU Alpha 707. 129,000 yen. The top three models in the Alpha series share the same size and design though they are not exactly the same, but the Alpha 707 is closer to the Alpha 907 than the Alpha 607. The basic circuits and functions are also the same. The only difference in appearance is that the lettering on the Alpha 907 is gold, while the lettering on the Alpha 707 is white. Actual weight, 20 kilograms. In particular, it is the net weight, not the weight added. The bonnet weighs 1860 G. There are many slits, so dump material is not used. It is attached with a total of 12 screws, 6 on the top and 3 on each side, making it durable and free from the risk of scratches. The side molds on both sides are covered with butyl rubber on the inside, and the volume knob is not solid, but it is thick and weighs 56 G. The legs are 8 G. There is a fifth leg that is off-center to the left, suppressing the resonance of the bottom plate. The power transformer has a large core size of 136 by 115 by 62 millimeters. The filter capacitors are Hitachi's ADV 10,000 microfarads and Nikon's ADV 12,000 microfarads. Both are large in size, 64 phi x 90 millimeters. Since it is a power supply for balanced output, it is different from ordinary ones because it operates in two parallel ways and can be used for both L and R. There is also one small film capacitor. The heat sink has a base thickness of 4 mm and 18 fins of 3 to 2 mm thickness. It is well dumped and does not make any noise when struck. The inside of the cabinet is really well organized. All preamp and control boards are shielded, and a white board is attached to the bottom of a square well made of a shield case and heat sink. The power amplifier has balanced output. There are two amplifiers for each channel, a reverse phase signal is added to one, and the output is connected to a speaker between the two hot channels. Balanced outputs have many advantages, such as the fact that the signal does not flow to the ground, that they are less affected by the power supply, and that it is easier to extract large outputs, but from the perspective of speakers, I am concerned about the use of amplifiers in a series. One circuit that the Alpha 607 does not have is a power amplifier direct input. Six volume units are used, two of which are used in the same way as normal pre-mains, and have an impedance of 47k omega, but the latter four units are used for power amplifier direct input, and one each goes to the plus side and side. There will be four in a row. Power Direct also operates with only two units when using unbalanced and normal input. This quadruple volume has a low impedance of 5k omega, assuming a CD. The sound is spacious and powerful, and all sounds are thick, clean, and rich. It cuts well, but it never feels sharp. He has a lot of flesh, but he's not particularly fatty or extremely muscular. He has a lot of flesh, but he's not particularly fatty or extremely muscular. It's not a fierce or vivid sound, but a well-controlled adult sound. Large integrated amplifiers have problems with the sound field, but this unit's sound field is wide, deep, and dense. Phono and CD have similar sound trends, but CD has different sounds depending on normal CD input and power direct input. Direct has less distortion and is really smooth and beautiful, but it also feels too smooth and dull. This is probably the original sound of the CD, and by passing it through the preamp something is added to give it more flavor. An engineer from another manufacturer also said the same thing when listening to high-end preamps. CD software may be made in such a way that it sounds good when played through a preamp. 